Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Mexico Marco Cadena anaerobic process coffee as a filter offering. This is our first Mexican offering, at the very least, in a really, really long time. Uh, we've been working with some Mexican farms, and we're really excited to bring this offering from Marco Cadena Solis. It is a anaerobic process coffee. It is pretty wild. So. Um, this coffee is pretty low elevation because Central America, and it is long fermented uh, with a long dry fermentation. So we have a lot of soluble material, but that low elevation is making this coffee want to drain really, really fast. So that mix of being really soluble and wanting to drain really fast means no matter what you brew it in, it's going to drain really fast, and that's probably going to be all right. However, there are two things that you are going to want to adjust no matter how you decide to make this coffee. You're going to want to, to grind much more finely than you traditionally would for these recipes. Uh, additionally, you may want to use hotter water because the draining fast is kind of superseding the really easy to extract. We're finding really fast drain times that we're just under extracting a little bit. Um, but we find really good results and we are going to brew a Hario V60. So this recipe will work in an 01 or an 02 V60. So just go ahead and wet the filter, let it do its thing. We're gonna be using um, a variation of the EZ V60. So I've got 15 grams of my Marco Cadena ground fine. This is eight on my Barazza Encore. This is, um, 17 on your Commandante C40. And unfortunately with these brew methods, unless you're gonna do immersion or maybe a Chemex, it is just a little out of range of what the Ode is able to give us. But 15 grams of coffee and we'll be doing 250 grams of 208 degree Fahrenheit water. So hot water, fine grind. This is still gonna drain super, super fast, but let's get going. Um, first things first, I'm gonna start my timer and I'm gonna bloom. And I'm gonna bloom with 40 grams of water. Let's just wet all these grounds, get everything going. I'm gonna let this rest for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, punch it really heavy in the middle, bring all of that water up to 150 grams total. Already starting to get that fermented aroma. Super bubbly. Boom, let's punch it straight in the middle. About as heavy as this kettle is letting me pour. And we're gonna finish off at 150. There we go. And now, traditionally with that um, Easy V60 recipe, I would just be doing one more pour. But I'm gonna split this into two more pours because I need a little bit more contact time with this coffee. It wants to drain super fast but I'm gonna split this up into two different pours. So here at one minute, I'm actually gonna do a spiral pour. Let's punch it and touch all the coffee up to 200. There we go. And then for my last pour, we'll come back to the middle, punch it really heavy and bring it up to that 250 mark. This is still gonna drain really, really fast. So here at 135, I'm gonna hit it. My last 50 grams. You should not see this water drain all the way through your brew bed. You should have some water, you should have some grounds visible, but it should not be all the way drained through. If it is, then we've ground too fine for this recipe. There we go. If we do grind, um, sorry, if it drains all the way through, we grind too coarse for this recipe. If we do grind too coarse, and this recipe just drains super fast, then it's gonna be, kind of sweet and bright, but it's gonna be watery. We're not gonna get a very intense flavor because we just drained all the way through. We don't have a ton of soluble material in that cup. The other side of things, if you do grind too fine, it's still gonna drain pretty fast, but we're not gonna get these crisp, bright, and sweet flavors. Instead, this cup is gonna taste really muddled. And I expect a really nice complexity from this coffee. This coffee was really surprising. Um, if you just gave it to me, straight off. I would not associate it with most of the Mexican coffee I've had. Um, the closest thing I would relate it to uh, is a coffee I had 
uh, from a fellow competitor in US Brewers Cup who used a really long fermented um, coffee from Mexico as well. Whew, this smells really, really good. So, flavors I expect. This coffee um, can be a little bit boozy, but it's rather tropical, really fruity and sweet. We're gonna get raspberry, you're gonna find pineapple, some tart apple, cacao, even lingering into like cacao juice, and um, uh, rose, so a nice floral sweet, think rose water. Yeah, very sweet. We should get this bright fruity notes. If you are getting that cacao being too strong and kind of overpowering these fruit flavors, then you need to grind a little bit more coarse, let it drain through faster and really do its thing. I just drank out of this cup, but you get the idea. Serve and enjoy.